everyone. Um, sorry for the long wait. I just am a procrastinator, and so I haven't gotten a chance to do this. As you may have noticed, I did get a haircut. I cut it myself at 2 in the morning, so it's kind of a mess, but I've gotten nothing but good um, compliments and everything about it, so I guess it's good. Okay, so today, or I should say tonight, I have questions and answers. Um, a while ago, um, a friend of mine who's going to go by Bookie, um, he uh, did a podcast answering questions that friends had given him, and so I'm going to do the same. Um, a lot of these questions are from members of a website called NarniWeb, and so I will be going by their username. The first question is by, the first few questions I should say, first group of questions I should say, is from Rose Tree Dryad. Hi Rosie. Okay, she asked, did I get in the first question? Yes, you did. Uh, what was the inspiration for your username? I'm assuming she means that the username that I use on NarniWeb, which is Rising Star. And I'm really bad at choosing stuff like usernames, so it took me all day to think of it. And I decided to go with Rising Star because I feel like I'm going to be a rising star in my industry, whether it be acting or writing books. Okay, third question. When and how did you start role-playing? I started role-playing when I was around 15. It was... Uh, a few months after I joined Narnia M. started with my own role plays, but they didn't really take off very well. Not a lot of people wanted to join in. So I decided to join uh, an already established role playing game, and I kind of got off to a bad start. I kind of got off to a bad start because I didn't know about the rule really and so um, my character was basically a copy of another person's character and they uh, uh, pr messaged me saying hey what are you doing and they helped me see the error of my ways okay question four how do you feel about shiny stuff I love shiny stuff I will see something shiny and go "Ooh, shiny it's really distracting. Um, what are your opinion of llamas? What is your opinion of llamas? Llamas are weird and fluffy and... Yeah. Funny, apparently. Lots of people think they're funny. Uh, are you an alien? This could be up for debate. What would you do if the sky was falling? Well, seeing as the sky is... I'm now trying to think of how in the world that would be even possible. It's really kind of mind-blowing if you think about it. I mean, it can't fall. I mean, the sky can't fall. Tacos or burritos? Well, I like the taco shells at uh, uh, Taco Bell, but I prefer fajitas. Okay, do you like the llama song? Yes, it's very annoying, but it's I think it's hilarious, honestly. Okay. Um, if you could have a pet llama, would you? <laughs> like Napoleon Dynamite? Uh, neighbor, I don't think so. Uh, she said, is it just my eyes or all those highlights I see in your hair? Yes, you do see highlights in my hair. They're actually, they, they started out as purple, which you can kind of see, not really. Um, and then, you know, they faded cause to white. Can't really see it very well with my new haircut, but yeah, they're there. Um, they're right there. Where is it? 
See, right there. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, she says they look awesome. Aw, thank you. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue, but I do wear lots of blacks and reds, and so a lot of people think that those are my favorite colors. But uh, they're not. Blue is my favorite color. Any shade of blue. What are your favorite places to shop? Well, I don't really like shopping, but I do love bookstores. Not necessarily just to shop in, though. I mean, I would go into a bookstore without any money just to read the books. <laughs> do you think I'm hyper? Yes, you are very hyper. Okay, that was a lot of questions, and I've kind of gone over time here. So I'm going to leave you with that, and I'll be back with a different, another video with more questions. So bye!